Well, they go above and beyond. They make our country better. And today, more than 1,000 people were recognised in the Australia Day Honours List. But the highest honour came too late for one Australian legend. And a warning to our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers, this story contains images of people who are deceased. Through music, Archie Roach gave a voice to the voiceless. Breaking our mother's heart, tearing us all apart, took them away. And today, six months after his death, he's been appointed a companion of the Order of Australia. Um, I remember him saying, you know, it's actually not about the person that's being awarded, it's about the, the, the community and it's um, our opportunity to honour someone who's done something really wonderful. And um, I think, yeah, I think he would have been really chuffed to have received this award. Former Police Commissioner Mick Fuller was also recognised for his work making this lucky country a safer one too. He says the award is a reflection of the work of the entire force. Certainly the last five years, if you think about some of the emergencies that we faced in, in COVID, certainly the, the, the friends in, in the two blues that supported me through that time, I don't think New South Wales would have performed anywhere near as well as we did without New South Wales police officers. They're among 1,047 people to receive Australia Day honours, including the likes of science and health commentator Norman Swan, politician Prue Goward, chef Kylie Kwong, director Philip Noyce, concert promoter Paul Dainty, Lieutenant General John James Fruin, cartoonist Warren Brown and actor David Wenham. At its core, the honours are the ultimate recognition of service. For some, the date couldn't be ignored. I do believe the date should be changed, so I do feel a little bit conflicted to receive this award on a day that I wish was a different date. Others hope it does some good. What I hope this does is give me an extra platform to um, be able to speak about all the amazing groups I'm associated with and, and promote their causes. While not all recipients are famous faces, Nicola Cironi is no stranger to the stars. After coming here from Italy as a young boy, he's truly added a little extra sparkle to our nation. My childhood, I always had uh, uh, a passion to be able to be successful. Uh, but, I, you know, I think the jury business gave me the opportunity and I think Australia gave me the opportunity. In fact, many of the recipients will likely fly under the radar, with 45% of the General Division Awards handed out for service in local communities. And that's something we can all get behind. Tallulah Thompson for 10 News First.